you're a, a sort of a design leader or if you're in the business of design leadership, your job is not to do design, it is to land design. And they're fundamentally different things. The doing of design is a technical skill that happens at all stages of the process. Design leadership is there to go to war politically. If you're in the design leadership world, you need to be multi multilingual. You need to be able to speak tech. You need to be able to speak finance. You need to be able to speak risk. Because certainly in my experience, the technology people that we talk to really don't give a toss about design. What they do understand is root cause analysis. So talk about that. We understand that the finance guys don't really care about design research and empathy and all these cool things. They do care about risk mitigation and they do care about the capital that they're deploying into projects who can put at risk. So the design leadership role is really in many ways a political one. It is one where you are able to fundamentally understand the environment you're trying to land design in and being able to navigate it so you clear a pathway for the design teams to do great work because they do do great work if they're allowed to. But if they're not allowed to, they will be ironically blamed for not being allowed to do the work they wanted to do in the first place. So, and this is also one of the key kind of, you know, closing outs on the, on the critique section is, is not everything is a startup. Really thinking about what's preventing design from kind of moving forward. Um, and we talk about this idea of moving from design thinking to design doing. Well, the doing part's very different in different institutions. If I'm an established enterprise, my requirements are very different. I usually want to see product and service and market that's going to give me an immediate return because I have a, an enterprise that's been built up over several years. If I'm a startup and I've got, I'm blessed enough to have some sort of VC funding, well then I'm going to be in a position where I'm interested in scale. I'm interested in acquiring users who will use my product and at some point possibly evolve into paid users and we'll go through, you can, we can go through a whole set of freemium to paid user funnel at some point, but that requirement is very different. How they are funded is different. The funding mechanisms, you know, for projects in, in startups and the funding mechanisms for projects in established enterprises are different and also in social enterprise, um, which is equally as complex as, you know, landing a, 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 does a solid design project that has social impact is as complex as landing a design project that has commercial impact. So they just have different sets of uh, challenging criteria. So there's this sense that there's definitely a structural problem. And the structural problem is often a lack of clarity. And a lot of the um, firms that I've worked with over the years have, have expressed this, is, is they don't really understand what they want it for, but they think it's cool and everybody else is doing it. And you know, if you read those stats around Coca-Cola, Unilever, IBM, getting 200 plus percent returns, outstripping the S&P index. A lot, of, a lot of that is as a result of um, nothing to do with design in many, in many ways. But where it is, it's because they've gone, they followed the process end to end. Everybody's familiar with companies like IDEO as a design uh, partnership and agency and Frog, and, and they also do it very well. But again, they all do it very differently. You speak to, you know, I've got some colleagues at Frog, they will tell you design is this thing over here. You speak to a team at IDEO, they'll tell, it's, they'll tell you it's something very different. You speak to a team at somewhere like Accenture Fjord, it's also vastly different. So that dichotomy in terms of what it is, is part of the challenge. So you know, the close out on, on the critique section is one really needs to be intentional about designing design and defining what it is. You establish it for yourselves, with your colleagues, with your teams, and build out your design process, your design strategy against that intention. Because you cannot just simply go and consume things that other people have done, aka the five kind of hexagonal bricks that sort of, you know, you saw many times over when I asked you to scroll down, and assume that that can be applied with clarity into your own organization. It, it simply just doesn't work. The math just doesn't add up.